Today, after the Zimmerman trial, we decided to sit down and just talk with some moms and see what their perspective was in light of the verdict and the events that have taken place after the case. Um, these moms are a little different. This mom decided as a mother of a young black boy to actually be proactive and start her own organization, Mob Inc., Mothers of Black Boys. And so we're going to sit down today and talk with Dr. Chapman and Kim Southern both mothers of young black boys. Um, we know in light of the tragic events and everything that has taken place with Trayvon Martin and the Zimmerman trial, we definitely wanted to sit down with some mothers. And uh, with your organization, Dr. Chapman, uh, why don't you tell me, just tell us a little bit about Mobs Inc. and tell us a little bit about what the purpose is for your organization. Well, I'm the founder and president of Mothers of Black Boys Incorporated, um, affectionately known as Mob Inc. Uh, Mothers of Black Boys Incorporated is a nonprofit organization. We are a membership based organization that has programs that reach out to the community to provide other moms um, with support um, in raising their black males. Okay. Now, with that, what, where did that come from? You know, we all, you know, we hear about so many people that start these wonderful organizations, but there's something, there's always a story behind it. So tell us what, what made you decide to start this organization? Um, I've taught public school, I've taught in urban education for like the last uh, 11 years and um, I just recently received my doctorate degree in 2011 and I spent three of five of those years working on my doctorate um, studying the underachievement of African American males. And as I studied um, many researchers and I looked at the data and I thought about the children that I've been working with and I thought about my own sons you know I'm a proactive type of person so I wanted to uh, start something that I know would definitely make a difference in our community by bringing other moms together. And you're the mother of how many boys? Two. Two boys. Mm -hmm. So definitely um, this organization, it, it hits home for you. Oh, yes. Uh, you saw firsthand being oh, the, yes. the mother yourself of, you know, two oh, yes. young black males. Um, and we have um, Kim Southern with us today. Um, and what's your role in the organization? You're a mom as well? Yes, I am a mom. I have two sons as well. And I'm also the chairman for our MAGIC program, which MAGIC stands for um, Motherhood Academy for growth, innovation, and caring. Okay. And what we offer to the parents is a what we call a day of magic, and it's filled with seminars and fun activities. Um, it's very informative and where a group of moms can get together and um, we can also share um, stories um, and give you know parenting tips to help. Uh, what has been some of the take and the, the feedback from some of the sons in your organization? Um, I had the opportunity um, we, uh, to talk with my son about the Trayvon Martin verdict and all of his, the, all of the situations mm -hmm. that we've kind of just watched on television. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't have to strike up the conversation. He started it off with me. You know, he was following it on CNN. We were out of town in Virginia for his uh, basketball tournament, and he he was really interested. And I told him. Um, you know, color doesn't define you. This situation happened um, because someone was being um, a little, I want to say racist, but there was, race had, I'm sure, had something to do Definitely. with it, but he was being a little prejudiced, um, you know, by the incident that happened prior to him shooting Trayvon um, with um, the break-ins that he, you know, they've been having and all the other stuff. So I, I told my son that you have to put yourself in, you can't put yourself in a situation to be a victim of such ins of an incident that that caused Trey Martin, Trayvon Martin, his life. Right. So what are some of the approaches and things that Mom, uh, Mob is taking right now? I know you have an event coming up in September. Yes. Um, before the verdict even, you know, got here and prior to um, the trial being set, date being set, we were planning to have a man-to-man -man town hall meeting where we're bringing men together of many organizations, many social groups, in, uh, many Masonic groups, um, fraternities, 
undergrad males, graduate males, whatever. We want all men, churches, we want all men mm -hmm. to be a part of this event. We're bringing them together to talk about some of the issues that we are experiencing with our black males. Um, um, getting our mayor on, involved and other state leaders as well as city, other city leaders involved to help us rally together and talk about some of the concerns that we're experiencing. We partner with um, Columbia Police Department in their Operation Risk Program, which is a replica of Scared Straight. Okay. And um, I've had the opportunity, Kim and I have had the opportunity to go on two of their, um, uh, not necessarily visits, but two programs, mm -hmm. I guess, if you will, that they've bought, bought in children to, um, to talk with, and most of them were young black males. And in dealing with that program, the males, all of them had at some point said, you know, my father is locked up, or I don't have a dad at home, or I don't get to see my dad. So, you know, I thought with that, that, that program, and then with the recent incidents of having the, the, um, the shooting of the four-year-old in the colony apartments and then the black males to break into the bakery and rob and kill this mother of four, I thought, you know, it is time. And it's time. It's time for men to come together. So September 10th, we're doing a town hall meeting, a man-to-man -to -man town hall meeting for men only. Women are not allowed. We will not be speaking. We will have someone um, to moderate the event for us so that men are engaging in some candid conversations and some really good dialogue to address the issue. So the two ladies were out at the march. Uh, what was that like? I mean, it was hundreds out there and all these different cities that came together you know, on one page and, and coming together and unified. What was that like being there and experiencing it? It was a great feeling. It was my actually my very first time participating in a rally. And um, I just thought it was great. The speeches were great. Mm -hmm. Just seeing the community come together for a common cause. And um, oftentimes, you know, our culture is stereotyped. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a very nice event without incident. And But one thing that I noticed, I was a little um, disappointed that we didn't see more um, prominent community leaders. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when we do come together, we're not all still coming together. And it's going to take all of us definitely. to make a positive impact definitely, definitely. on our boys. I definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely, again, I commend you ladies uh, with your organization. If anybody wanted to get in contact with you, um, how can they reach out to sure. you? Sure. Um, they can visit our website at www.mothersofblackboys.org. Um, they can also reach me via email. Uh, my email address is jchatman, C-H-A-T, and chatman, at mothersofblackboys.org. They can follow us on Facebook, um, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. We encourage everyone to just stay connected because we're definitely trying to be a force in the community. Thank you again, ladies. Thank you.